Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, obviously, uh, my interest was to carry out the law, enf law enforcement functions of the federal government and to protect uh, federal uh, facilities and federal personnel, uh, and also to uh, address the rioting uh, that was interfering with uh, the government's function. That morning, uh, we decided uh, that we needed more of a buffer uh, to protect the White House and, and to protect our agents uh, and Secret Service personnel who uh, could be reached by projectiles from H Street. Uh, I made the decision that we would uh, try to move our perimeter uh, northward by a block to provide this additional protection. Thank you, and, and with that, I'll, I'll open it up to uh, the questions. There were projectiles being uh, thrown, and uh, the group uh, was becoming increasingly unruly, uh, and uh, the uh, operation, to, they were asked three times if they would move back one block. Uh, they refused, and uh, we, we proceeded to to uh, move our perimeter out to uh, I Street. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with one pass of question. Uh, I think the president uh, is uh, the head of the executive branch and uh, the chief executive of the nation and should be able to walk outside the White House and walk across the street to the Church of Presidents. Uh, I don't necessarily view that as a political act. I think it was entirely appropriate for him to do. ...to exploit all five here. Um, and do you believe that's an organized information effort from... I did not know that, uh, that he was going to do that until later in the day uh, after our plans were well underway to, to move the perimeter. So there was no correlation between uh, our, con our, our tactical plan of moving the perimeter out by one block uh, and the president's uh, going over to the church. The president asked members of his cabinet to go over there with him, the two that were present, and uh, I think it was appropriate for us to go over with him, their leaders. Thank you. Thank you all for